hello and welcome back to my channel so tonight it is Wednesday night we are having cottage pie for tea so let's crack on with it let's cook together okay so here we go to our pan we have added five large white potatoes and a pinch of salt we're going to boil those so that they're ready to mash in this pan that's not yet on I just have one tablespoon of oil so I'm just going to pop that pan on so what we're going to do <coughs> excuse me with this dish is we're going to cook our mash and make sure that's all mashed and creamy in here we'll do our meat and vegetables our beef and then we combine them into a layered tray and it bakes in the oven for about 20 minutes so now that pan's on and heating up we've got our mash on once this gets warm, so to tell a pan's warm, you can pop your hand over it, not in it, don't put your hands in pans. You should be able to he feel heat radiating off the surface. So for now, it's nothing yet, so we need that to get warmed up because we're going to fry our onions. Okay, so that pan is warm now to the touch and I've just put the oven onto 180 to preheat. Into this pan, we're going to add one diced onion. Not quite hot enough yet because it's not sizzling. So this is a cottage pie because it is made with beef and not lamb. If it was lamb it would be shepherd's. I'm just going to get these onions frying and browned off. So I'm using frozen mince. A lot of people say frozen mince has no flavour but it is cheap. So we're going to do our best to actually get some flavour into this mince. Okay, so I hope you can hear me over the kettle boiling for stock. What we're actually doing is just frying these onions and we want them to be fried again until they're translucent. Not browned, we don't want them caramelised or anything like that, we just want them starting to cook before we add the meat. Okay, so as you can see we're starting to get a little bit of colour on our onions and they've gone quite translucent which means they're starting to cook. So to this we're going to add but we're going to turn it down a little first because we don't want it to burn. We're going to add our mince. So I just use for this one Iceland's beef mince. So I'm just going to pop that in and give that a wind round in the pan. Okay, so as you can see, our mince is starting to look a bit more like mince now. And we are going to add to this some carrots once it's started to properly brown. During World War II one of the things they used to bulk out foods was with was things like carrots and potatoes because they're readily available and they're available on the farms that were digging for victory. So to this mince because this is going to lose quite a lot in water which will evaporate and quite a lot in terms of kind of bulk so to this we're going to add some carrots, which I have already peeled and chopped, as fine as I can do them. Obviously I'm not a professional chef by any means, so my chopping isn't the finest. When you're doing your potatoes, one thing to note is you do need to try and make sure that your potatoes are all the same size roughly, so they all cook at the same time. You don't want big bits and small bits and because they will all cook at different times and if they cook too far for mashed potatoes you'll end up with them starting to kind of soak into the water that's in there which is what you don't want. So I'm just going to give this another 5-10 minutes frying and add some carrots. Right, as you can see our mince has started to brown. So remember all of this is going in the oven, but you do want your mince to kind of get a good head start before it goes in. So our mince is starting to brown, so to that we're going to add two peeled, washed, diced carrots. This would benefit from being a finer chop, but unfortunately I just don't have the strength in my arms to do that. It's about as fine as I can manage. And what we want that to do as well is to start cooking with the carrots. So we're 
just going to give that another five minutes to start those carrots softening and then we will add our stock and seasoning. Our potatoes are getting there so we'll just give those a quick check. So to check if we're ready for mashing you find one of the bigger pieces. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. And you put a fork in it. Oh yes. If the fork goes in with very little pressure they're done. Right. So I'm going to take those off the boil now as well. So that's the potatoes off. This just needs to cook a little longer. And we will add our stock and some seasoning. Right, to our minced carrots and onions, first thing we're going to add, 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 add is some mixed herbs. Remember this mince isn't the best tasting so we need to add flavour. We're also going to add some paprika. We are going to add some salt. We are going to add a touch of aromat and one cup of stock. Here is our stock. So this is a beef stock cube and a uh, gnaw stock pot. So we don't want to add a lot of water because there's quite a lot of water come out the meat. So we're just going to add this as well. Just get that bit in as well. Can't lose that flavour. Give that a good stir. And while that's simmering, we can sort our mashed potatoes out. Right, so our mince now has all its seasoning in. I'm just going to leave it to thicken up a little bit because it's still a little bit runny. And if your mince is too runny when it goes into your pan to go in the oven, the potatoes will sink through it. So we need that to thicken up a bit. So I'm going to go and drain and then we'll mash our potatoes. Okay, so I've started mashing our potatoes, they're all drained, and I've just added, I call it a knob, a little bit of butter. Potatoes for this don't want to be too dry either. I'm also going to add a splash of milk. Again, don't need a lot. And we're going to add giving it a good shake, not to everyone's taste, a little bit of mustard, again just a little bit, and a little bit of aroma. Give that a good mash through, and once we've got all that in, dropping bits everywhere, we're going to add a little bit of mature cheddar cheese. So some people put this on the top of their cottage pie, some people don't add cheese at all. I prefer to put it in because it just helps that mash be that a little bit more creamy. So I'm going to give this a good mash and a mix and then we'll assemble our pie. Okay so we have our mince, we have our mash, so I'll assemble it. I'm not going to film me doing that just because I struggle lifting pans so you don't want 10 minutes of me struggling to lift a pan. So mince at the bottom, we'll form a layer with that first. Right, so there we have our mince spread as evenly as you can over the bottom of the bowl. We're going to top that with our mashed potato. Okay, so we've got our potato across our mince. We're just making sure it's all covered and then we're going to scruffy up the surface a little bit with a fork. So the reason we do that is to get that little bit of crispiness to the potato on top, especially if you're not topping it with cheese. If you just turn the fork the other way and ever so lightly scruffy up the potatoes a little bit, where they just catch in the oven, they'll just get a little bit of a crispy topping to it, which is what you're after. And then this is going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes at 180 just to crisp off that top, make sure all that veg in there is cooked through 
and then I'll show you the finished result. So thank you for staying with me so far. Okay, so we are back and Jason is home and he's gonna do the honours and lift out our cottage pie. Nearly said shepherds again. Ooh. Yes, the oven does need cleaning. Don't need cleaning. Hence the smoke. Well, let's have a little look at this. So I've popped it on a tray just in case sometimes cottage pies overflow a little bit and you get um, like overflow and I don't want it going on the bottom of the oven. The oven's already mucky enough. So I'll just stop that. Boom. Oh. And there we go. So there is our finished product. And you can just see that where we've scruffed up, it's just caught a little bit of brown on the top. So we'll get that served up and we'll do, see what Jason thinks. Okay, so we're all settled down. Let's see what Jason thinks. Cleanse the palate. Have a little bit of fluffy, fluffy mash on there, a bit of mince, carrots. Beautiful. It's creamy mash. Nice, nice juicy meat. And it's got a little, just a little bit of crunch on the carrots. Let's give you the texture. Mm. Oh, it's lovely that. We're gone in a minute. <laughs> there we go. So that is cottage. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. I'll pop the recipe in the comments. Any questions, please look right underneath and I'll try and reply. Thank you for watching. See you next time.